Understanding what the hell is going on. Where is Mr. Kim's daughter and why is this girl still in our mansion? If you kidnap her mistakenly, then why you still didn't drop her to her place? Jungkook said angrily, looking at one of his men. He looked down, all shivering in fear. Boss, we are still trying to find Mr. Kim's daughter and about this girl. We can't leave her like this. She gets to know about us. And trusting her in this matter can cost us more than anything else. We do some background research of her and then get to know that she is a daughter of Mr. Lee Jin Yong, leader of Korean party. Then what do you want me to do? Kill this innocent girl without any reason? It's not like that sir, just a few weeks after that we will make sure she won't say anything about us when she goes back to that place. And the second problem is that the black card gang is looking for this girl. If we leave her like this, then she might get in trouble. And as you say, our work is to protect those who are innocent and punish the evil one. She is innocent. How can we leave her like this? They might hurt her if they get to know that we are having her. Then it will not be safe for her. Jungkook signed and pushed his hair back. Okay, just do whatever you want to do, but remember, within a month, I need Mr. Kim's daughter in our mansion and her out of the mansion, either safe or unsafe. I don't care. Fix everything within a month or else won't be good for you all. The man nodded and bowed at him, taking a deep breath, Jungkook walked out. Yunjin took out his phone and dialed the number. It took the person a few minutes to answer the call. Yunjin signed. Just by the noises from the background, he understands what might be the scene there. She is really crazy bro, what can I do? Just a few more days, boss strictly said to leave her back within a month. And you get some news about Mr. Kim, where is he hiding? God knows, we are still trying, can't do anything else than this. Okay, just go and handle her. I will try to finish my work early today. We need to talk about her. This is really so insane. Yes, I never understand how she can be of 22. By looking at her actions, it feels like she is still 2 years old. Jungkook walked in the living room all tired with the work. He closed the door and approached the couch. Just want to lay down there, want some energy to fight with this tiredness. Throwing his coat on the chair, he threw his tired body on the couch and closed his eyes. His body needed some rest while eyes needs relaxation. Suddenly, an unfamiliar smell hit his nostrils. He looked at his side and saw you, lying on the couch while your lower half was hanging down. Your hair were all messy as it was even covering half of your face and your shirt lifted up from your stomach as even your brow was visible. He looked at your feet and you were still wearing your heels. Something you never live without. No matter how many times you fall because of them, but never take them out. He leans his head back and closes his eyes again. Suddenly something hit his mind. Didn't you take a shot today because you are still in the clothes they kidnapped you? It was a misunderstanding. His guards kidnap you thinking of you as his enemy's daughter, but later find out that it was not you but still refused to leave you. They were scared but if you enclose their real identity and about their place. Just this fear of them forced you to stay here. You even saw your missing report on television. How crazy. Well, they treat you so well. All of them are so good with you. Ready to accept anything except their wish to go back home. They even offer you a room but you deny. You find their couches warm and comfortable than bed of their rooms. You just can't fall asleep without your room and your bed. That's what you told them, but here, sleeping without caring about your weird position. Jungkook tried to sleep, but your snores didn't let him. He opened his eyes and grabbed his coat. He decided to go in his room, but stopped in the middle of his way and looked at you. Are not you cold? Are you comfortable here for sure? These are some thoughts that runs in his mind quickly. 
But why should he care, thinking that he left from there but his heart was not ready to leave you like this? He took a deep sigh and come back again. Getting on his knees, he take out your heels, trying his best not to wake you up. Fixing your position, he stands straight. But still, there's a problem. You're shut. He pressed his lips together, thinking it as a normal raising of his heartbeat. He grabbed the corners of your shirt and slid it down, covering you with a blanket he was about to leave but you called him, making him regret his decision. He signed and turned to you with the same cold face. You rub your eyes to adjust with this bright light. You look at him and smile slightly, making his heart flutter. It never happened that someone smiles like this to him. He feels happy from inside. After his parents, you are the first one to treat him like a jungle. Not as a mafia king John Jungle, and he kind of liked this treatment. You are back. Actually, I was waiting for you, but end up sleeping. What is it? He said in his cold voice. You sighed and looked at him. I'm hungry. I didn't have my dinner and don't even know how to make food. Can you please make me something? I asked them about it, but he said that he also doesn't know how to cook. What about the mates? They didn't make you anything. They do, but I don't like that food. But now I am regretting not eating anything. Please, even ramen will work for me. He thought for a while and nodded, walking towards the kitchen. You smiled and followed him. Thank you, you are so sweet. He chuckled at your innocence. It's been a month you are with them and there's no topic of you going back to your place. And they also never talked about this after that day. You are really enjoying your time here. They all are so good with you and you never get to know how you become the part of this mansion. As you are the only girl here, they all treated you like a princess of theirs. Never knew how you become so close to them and especially with Jungkook. He is not cold anymore. He started to smile often too. That was so unexpected for the others. But you enjoy his this side. Crimes are now considered illegal in the mansion. No one even talks with a raised voice here. No bad words are allowed inside. And it's all because of you. Or more clearly for you. They just want you to be comfortable with them. And they are getting successful in their plan. You are really feeling comfortable with them. But... But you never know when this comfort turned into the love for Jungkook. You started to like his company, started to like spending time with him. And after that day when you saw him crying after getting drunk and shared his pain with you about how lonely he is in his life, how badly he wants to cry but always hide it behind his cold face, how the death of his parents broke him, how he is scared every second to lose something when he had nothing to lose. How things are making him crazy. From that day, you even started to love him more. But this love is one-sided. You are aware of that too. You took a deep breath and looked at Jungkook lying on the bed with a weird expression. His arms folded to his chest and a small pout on his lips making it chuckle slightly. Well, you are going to be the first one to control a mafia like this. Door opened and your eagle eyes Shoot the person. Sam smiled and looked at Jungkook. He bowed at you too. Sir, we got information about Mr. Kim and I think we need to hold a meeting to decide about our next step. So if you are free then... Yes, I am all free. I am coming. He said getting up but you put your hand on his chest and pushed him down back making him fall on the bed again. His eyes widened while Sam gulped. He looked at you and smiled awkwardly while your eyes were shooting him with anger. He is not going anywhere. He is super busy in taking rest or decide things by yourself. But it's important, Vyan. More than your health, you just got shoot in the morning and now pretending to be all okay. You might get an infection like this. Will that be okay for you? But it's not that deep. Who knows it better? You or me? You are hurt and I know it's too deep. That's enough. You need rest. 
You were even protesting when I was treating your wound, pretending like it didn't hurt you, but I know it does. You are not a doctor, but I am a medical student equals to doctor. There is a silence for a minute. He signed and turned back covering his body with the blanket. Let's talk about that later. I am super busy in resting. He said giving pre all pressure on the last word. You smiled slightly and looked at Sam who smiled at your cuteness. You really got guts. Best of luck, boss. He said showing thumbs up and walked out smiling while you chuckled. 1, 2, 3. You said running to the stairs and look back at Jungkook smiling. He signed. It's your turn now. I don't play these childish games. Why don't you also stop playing and let's go back to the mansion. It's too weird here. I know, you never come out of the mansion like this, I mean without guards, right? Yes, and it's not safe either, you should know that, I'm a mafia and there's always danger around me, so wrap it up and let's go. Just a few more minutes, I'm really enjoying, you know I have never been out like this, it's my first time and I really want to enjoy. Why, your father never allowed you to go out? You pouted and sat on the stair while he was looking at you with his raised brows. That's a problem. He never say no to me, not for anything. Whatever I touch become mine. Whenever I wanna go out, he just agree without hesitation. But now I try to understand that I don't like guards. They are always with me, everywhere. At college, my friends party at the club and even when I wanna go out for a walk, one of them surely going to come with me. I know they are here for my safety but that doesn't mean they will be with me every time. I can't be able to enjoy. I want a silent place where there is no one to notice me, just like this one. Then why don't you say it all to him? I wish he ever gave me this much time that I can share all this to him. How about your mom? She is not a politician too, right? Of course not. Have you ever heard about Yakomo? She is the CEO of that company. She is not my real mother, that's why I am not that connected to her. But she is so good. As I am the only child of both of them, they love me a lot. Just never give me time that I need it the most. He pressed his lips together and nodded. What about you? Why do you do this way? I mean, is it really so nice to be a mafia? You look decent man, then why do you do such work that you have to hide yourself from the world? And why you think that I will tell you something about me? Because we are friends. You said looking at him cutely, he scoffed and looked at you. I don't like being friends with anyone. And let's go, it's getting late. Anyone cooler. I don't want to freeze here. He said and walked ahead, making your eyes widen. Yeah, wait, don't leave me here. I don't know the way back home. You said running to catch him but your feet tripped and you were about to fall but Chonku caught you. You look up at him and smile slightly while his heart started to beat faster. He helped you to stand straight. When you can't walk properly then why do you even wear these heels? Don't you have any simple footwear? I only used to wear expensive things. You even know how much these heels cost? More than you even think, it is the only rare piece in the whole world, only few people get them, and one of them is me. Maybe that's why I love my things more than my life. He scoffed. I know how rich your dad is, you don't have to tell me that again and again, and yeah, you are going back home tomorrow. Your eyes light up, you climb on a stair to match your height with him and look at him, smiling widely. He smiles slightly too. Wow, really? Oh, uh, I miss my appa so much. Now, finally, I am going. But wait, you are leaving me for sure. What if I enclose your personal information there? You should not trust anyone like this, and more when you are a mafia boss. I am not trusting you. My eyes will always be on you. One mistake from you and you will regret it your whole life. My next target is going to be you. Remember that. Why are you going to shoot me?
I won't even hesitate to do so. You scoffed and looked at him. If I'm nice to you guys, that doesn't mean I'm weak. You don't know me. I also know self-defense. I used to go shooting classes when I was in middle school. If you ever point gun at me, I will shoot you on the spot. Bang. You said making a gun from your finger and shooting him. He scoffed. You even know what mafias are capable of? Are not you scared of me? That's the problem. I never able to understand why people are scared of you. You are not even that scary. Oh, so you don't find me scary. That's why you are not scared of me. Yeah, it can be also one of the reason, but the real reason is something else. And I will tell you that when the real time comes, okay? You are really so weird. Now let's go home. Wait, look at my feet got hurt by the heel. I can't walk properly. You said showing him your ankle which was bleeding. He sighed and looked at you while you smiled at him making him scoff. You really really so weird. Take them out. He sat on the stair while you raised your brows in confusion. Hope on. I will carry you. Wow, you are really so sweet. Thank you so much. You own me this time. You can trust me. I will never tell anyone about you. You better not to tell or else it won't be good for you. Yes, yes. Don't try to scare me because I'm not scared of anyone. I know, I know. By the way, am I too heavy? Not at all. People used to say that when you get old, you started to lose weight. Wow, really? If I am old, then you are grandpa, understand? You said annoyingly making him chuckle. Smiling slightly, he walked towards the mansion. From here, go by yourself. I can't go further. I already booked a cab for you, so it will be easy for you. He said looking away. You smiled slightly. The time he decided to free you from that misunderstanding and to drop you to your place, since then, he didn't make eye contact with you. You both didn't have a proper talk as he always ignored you whenever you try to approach him. He has been behaving so weirdly since morning and now suddenly all this. You were not wrong when you said that this man is really so hard to understand. We are not meeting after that. Do we have anything left to stay in contact? Why not? We can be good friends, right? I really like spending time with you guys. It was really fun. You all are really so good. You said peeking behind his shoulder to look for the guard standing behind him. They smiled and waved at you while you chuckled. You can't be friends with us. It's better for you to forget everything you see there and even heard. And I dare you to enclose our identity to anyone. He said in his cold voice, same voice he talked to you on the first day, thinking you his enemy's daughter. You scoffed and looked at him. I'm not liking this changing tone. You better talk with me nicely. He looked at you and raised his brows, and for the first time in a day, both of your eyes met. Your eyes softened as soon as you look in his eyes. They are not cold anymore, but not sweet as well. You can see just some hidden emotions of his which he never want to take out, or maybe never want to accept. What would you say if someone asks you where you were all this time? Uh, about that, just some crazy heads kidnapped me but after a while they got to know that they kidnapped the wrong person and left me. You said casually making all of them scoffed in unison. They all readily know whom you are pointing by saying crazy heads. Jungkook sighed. No need to say all this. Just say you ran away to have a better future but your plan flopped and you come back. You scoffed and looked at him. You really think that others are as dumb as you? I am a daughter of a politician. My father earns more than you even think. There is no reason for me to run from my house from the comfort I like the most. And my appa knows that. So these ideas won't work. He looked at you with his narrowed eyes. You sighed and nodded. Yeah, don't give me this look. I will try. But don't worry, I will never let anyone know that I was with you. Mafia King John Jungkook. He chuckled looking away, weird as always. Thank you. 
You said buying at him. The guards pressed their lips together to control their smile. Never saw anyone getting in competition with Jungkook like you do. But more shocking thing is that he never gets angry or irritated. He never likes when someone answers him back or anyone make eye contact with him. But it feels like he enjoys these small actions with you. The thing which he finds irritated with others, he enjoy that with you. Jungkook looked at you and sighed. Your fashion always troubles you more than anything else ever does. He saw you rubbing your hands and why not? Coming out in such cold weather just in a thin dress will surely not help. He waited there for a while and looked back at one of his men. What's the problem? Why isn't this cab coming? Boss, it will take a few more minutes. Jungkook signed and looked at you while you were scanning the whole street around. You saw these busy streets after so long. You like it this way, lightning all around. Sometimes even chaotic things give you peace. Are not you cold? He asked in a soft voice. You looked at him with a smile just to answer him. But before you could say anything, he wrapped a scarf around your neck, making you a little shocked. Your heart skip its beat when your eyes again meet his. He looks so calm from outside but you can feel his heart beating fast just like yours. He is here to see you off when the reality is he never wants you to go. He wants you to be with him. After his parents, you are the first person who care for him like this and now you like them. He don't want to lose you but he can't even force you to be with him. As both of your worlds are different, hopes and darkness can never meet. But this scarf is yours. Return me back when we will meet next time. Whoa, that's mean you want to meet me again, huh? You said teasing him, keeping your feelings from him hidden. You just thought of him as a phrase of your life which only comes to bring light in your dark life. No matter how shiny your life looks, but it was all dark. But with him, he just lighted everything with just one candle. He is the light of your life and someone hard to forget now. Both of your hearts stopped when the cab stopped. You can feel his fist tighten around the scarf and eyes were turning a little teary. You can even feel his heart beating fast. He is the mafia king. Well, whatever he wants, he gets it. He never finds himself as helpless as he is finding himself right now. Gulping. He looked at you and you smiled slightly, a fake smile that never reaches your eyes. Boss, cab is here. One of his guard whispered in his ear from behind, making him snap out of the deep folds of your eyes. He looked away and nodded, trying to control his tears. You also wipe your tears. Never knew that the two people who never like to spend time with others Never fall in love, never really care about anything will ever become this important for each other. Okay, so I think I should go now. Bye. And you guys, work hard but don't forget to eat well, sleep tight. It will be so nice to meet you all again. I really enjoy it. To be honest, I will like to get kidnapped by you all again. Don't forget me, okay? Don't worry, you are not someone to get forgotten easily. Love you. Love you all too. Jungkook raised his brows and looked at you with a chuckle. How easy it is for you all to share your feelings, while he is on the other side, can't even say goodbye to you properly. You smiled and looked at him, patting his head slightly. He looked at you. You too, eat well, sleep well, and most importantly, stay safe. And don't get hurt, okay? And if you get hurt, then don't forget to put some bandage and some medicine, okay? He smiled slightly and nodded. The smile that is unnoticed through his face but you can see that in his eyes. And about this scarf? Then let's meet again. I'm going to miss you. You said and waited there for his reply but he didn't say anything. Just standing there looking in your eyes. Taking a deep breath, he looked away. You can take that and I think you should leave now. It's getting late and even I had to leave. I don't have a whole day for you. You scoffed and hit him slightly on his arm with your small fist. You are supposed to say I miss you too, Mr. Mood Spoiler. I'm going. May you get your peace back. You said and walked towards the cab flipping your hair back. 
He looked at you and suddenly sadness took over his face. How can it be peaceful without you? And that's when she started to take her step towards the cab, away from me, then I realized. I know she can never be mine, we are two strangers from different worlds that just meet accidentally. Live a few moments of happiness together but at the end have to separate. One day she will find someone better that belongs to this light, not the darkness like me. But that doesn't mean I will stop loving her. My love is one-sided but it's so beautiful. Today when I saw someone so precious to me going away from me, my first love walking away, then I realized it's not necessary that love has to happen two-sided. It's not necessary to marry or to live together if you love someone. Heart doesn't see all this, it just fall in love with anyone. Even when your mind knows that this person can never be yours but you still fall for them. Because the heart doesn't know all this, it just fall for the care and the way they make you feel special. Maybe that's why people said love is blind. Love is just love, whether you get it back or not. Falling in love doesn't always mean a happy ending. It doesn't mean to marry the person or to join your names together. To complete your love, you don't need all this. Love is complete in itself. It doesn't need any name, just happen. She is going away from me, I am sad, but happy at the same time that she happens to be my love. Even though the confession is still not due, but some love stories are better this way. I am happy that she happened to be my first love. The one who made me live a decent life. Who told me the real meaning of love. The first one to become the part of my pain. The one who made me feel the real John Jungkook, not any mafia king. I am happy to accept this golden time of our life as a treasure of mine, the most precious treasure of mine, deep somewhere in my heart. He opened the cab door and looked back at Jungkook. At this time, he smiled at you. Your heart fluttered. And unknowingly, a smile popped on your lips, a real smile that reaches your eyes. He waved at you and you waved at him back. Getting in the car, you shut the door and peeked through the window. Never knew how they all become so close, even if it's just a phrase of time. You spend with them. You wave at them. As soon as the engine of the car started, Jungkook's heart filled up with lots of emotion as if everything hit him at once. But he still smiles. Finally, you are gone. He signed and turned to leave but stopped when he saw the cab stopping. You come out from the cab and bowed at the driver. He nodded and laughed while you walked to the Jungkook. You took a deep breath and stood in front of him. He raised his brows while you smiled. Just remember something. Remember one day you asked me why I am not scared of you? You missed your cab just to tell me this? Maybe I don't want to keep you hanging while thinking of it. He scoffed and looked at you. Then why so? You stay there looking in his eyes, thinking whether you should tell him or not, but you decided to make a move. You decided to tell him the truth. You take another step closer to him and sliding his mask down, you place your lips on his. Jungkook eyes widen while guards scoff by your disaction. It's just a soft peek, but you make everyone shocked. Taking a step back, you look at Jungkook and smile softly. Because I love you. I know I'm looking a little stupid to love the person who kidnapped me, but that's how I am. I just loved you. For others, you might be cold and dangerous, but I know how soft-hearted you are. Your care, the way you treat me, all this make me fall in love with you. I love you is all I want to say. You confess and waited for his reply, but he is still silent. Pressing your lips together, you nodded. This is all I want to say. I think I should leave now. You said and turned back, but before you even step back again this time, he wrapped his arm around your waist and pulls you closer to him and pulls you in a deep kiss. Your heart stopped and mind went blank, but then smiled and kissed him back, wrapping your arm around his neck. Amy, I think we should turn around. He said and all the guards turned around, not wanting to disturb these love words. 
आई लव यू टू